Hello, welcome back. Uh, so, are you people ready to start putting this thing back together? I know I am. I need to find out what I did. Is it going to work? Uh, so, let's look at what we need to do. I'm Glenn Nowakowski, and you're watching Glenn Now on YouTube. I'm not going to take a lot of time cleaning this thing up and then finding out my idea did not work. What I'm going to concentrate on is cleaning up this way. It writes on that way and this right here. I'm going to clean up this here pinion gear real good all the way around it. I'm also going to clean up this mating surface and this mating surface. I'm probably gonna stone this surface here. This is where this goes here. I'm gonna have to stone this whole back surface here. Make sure these are nice and flat, stone them, and then bolt them back on. Let's get to that. I really probably just want to get rid of the old oil that's on here. Take this stone here and just sew off the high points. I don't like the way that feels. I'm going to have to get some lube, kerosene, or something like that. Okay, I think what I'm going to go with is uh, the WD-40. It's a real thin... Like I said, I just want to do this quickly. I don't want to spend a lot of time making everything look pretty. It's all cleaned up and pretty, and it don't work. It's not what I'm after. I'm after a, a functional grinder. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Just spray it on here. I don't really feel any high points like it was nicked or anything like that. Pretty much pretty smooth. That's the flat surface. You know, one of the things I liked about this grinder is it was, it had a lube system. Just pull this one lever and uh, it self lubes. Okay. okay, there's some more WD-40 on there. Make this small brush, not real coarse. I'm just basically getting the old grease off of it. So it meshes a little better. Uh, that actually looks pretty good all the way around. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to WD-40 it and uh, take the brush and just go up and back. Get rid of some of that old 
oil grease. You could tell there wasn't much use on these. It's like brand new. Although I bought this thing six, 20, well, 2006. 14 years ago. <laughs> Time flies. I never really use it as a surface grinder. I just use it for necking down my uh, end mills with a diamond wheel on it. Stone it a little bit. That don't feel bad. Not as bad as the other medium surface. And I'm numbered here. These things are nothing special. It was just a 062 I was looking for across here just to lift that up. Okay, these are snug, but left the end pieces loose. There's a slight bow to it, to where it's going. The middle is higher. I'm going to tighten those down first. Bring that middle down. Yeah. All right. Now, I guess it's just a matter of putting this back on there. way lube on here. I don't want to just put it steel to steel and then start pumping that uh, lube system. I'd rather have something on here already. Okay, let's go uh, do the machine now. I don't need to put a real lot on here. Just, just enough so the surface is covered. That's how I feel anyway. Okay, I, I think it's good enough to throw on there and throw it together and uh, see how it grinds. See if it has that scallop look which I believe was the rack and pinion bouncing and making that scallop look on my part. Let's see if I can lift this thing. Wasn't that hard taking off but pretty nice I think it's gonna be a little bit more of a problem. We'll see. You know, that doesn't feel half bad. Let's put this mag back on here. First things first. Put a diamond on there. Lock to run. That ain't going anywhere. Uh, a 
that stress this thing. Okay. Let's go find a piece of steel to grind. Okay, the wheel's sharp, dressed. I have a piece of 1018. Put that baby on there. Mag down. Okay. Looks pretty good. Wow. That is nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Yes. Okay. Success. Now, now that that's done, I think I'm going to go ahead, clean the thing up. Uh, there's a lot of other things I want to do. I also have to grind this chuck in so I know it's flat with the waves. <clears throat> there was, I can't go too far past the chuck without it hopping out of the v waves. <clears throat> What I wanted to do was uh, make some kind of stops. This is a dead stop. I don't like that. It just bounces into there. I want to make some kind of spring stop. So if I do go past it, it just bounces back. So I got it together. It seems to work. I believe we're going to say this is a wrap for today. Uh, so until next time, enjoy.